Hello, welcome to this again. So it's been a hot minute since I used a Steam Deck for a video, mainly just because I can't really think of many fun things to do with this thing. And I didn't really plan on making any more Steam Deck videos until I saw this tweet of macOS fully running natively on the Steam Deck. And I was like, man, that's really cool. That would make a really cool video. And they even made a guide for how to do it so idiots like me can maybe slightly have a chance of actually getting this to work. So yeah, unsurprisingly, uh, the first portion of setup here is gonna be on the computer which is over here, so, uh... Alright, so we got the guide here put together by CodeRunner5235, and there's some things to know here that I'm gonna also read out. And real quick, this video is not a tutorial. It's not. Use this guide, figure it out yourself. Don't come running to me if you have questions, I'm not gonna have any answers for it. Anyway, with that, uh, this barely works, many devices don't have support. It can very easily wipe your SteamOS install if you're not careful. With number two being said, you can in fact dual boot macOS and SteamOS or Windows on the same drive with some elbow grease. I'm gonna be trying to do that here, but uh, I'm a stupid idiot and might accidentally wipe my SteamOS anyway, so. They did not make any of the software used. They simply helped getting macOS booting with some other devs and people interested. It was a team effort. Stuff will be fixed or not depending if someone takes interest in ad support. Please do not flood the Hackintosh servers for support requests. If you must ask, come here and ask in the discussions. With that out of the way, the first part of the setup isn't actually on this guide, it's actually on this guide. And also, yeah, I'm going into this completely blind pretty much. So yeah, I'm probably gonna mess something up and I'm probably gonna look incredibly stupid doing it. So, requirements. We got a uh, open core package. I'll download this. Do I need the debug or the release? Running the debug version? Okay. And I also need proper tree. Okay, so apparently an offline image will fail to boot and the online version is the way to go. So I'm gonna just really hope that that's the case and move on with the Windows users. So currently the only open USB stick I have is larger than 16 gigabytes. It's uh, 32 gigabytes. So I need to use the Rufus method, apparently. <laughs> Give it a shot. And then I need to remove all of this. All right, so I need this as well. All right, so now I gotta run one of these scripts. And Big Sur seems to be the preferred option for this, so I'll just do that. Yeah, cause like, this is running Big Sur, so I'll just do that. Oh, yep, it's downloading. All right, it seems to be complete, cause it says complete. All right, we'll just do the Rufus method. All right, now I gotta make a folder called this. Done. All right, now I gotta grab this EFI folder, put it on here. All right, with all this done, head to setting up the EFI to finish up your work, okay. All right, adding the base open core files. I think I already did this. Okay, apparently the only ones that I need to keep are these ones. All right, I now only have these. And then from tools, I can delete everything but open shell EFI. All right, we're now in the gathering files section, which means we can go back to this guide. Okay, I need this apparently. Okay, apparently I need this. And I need to put it in the ACPI folder. Should be in the results folder. Well, I mean, there it is, I think. Then I need to take this and also put it into ACPI. And then I need this firmware file, which I actually don't know where I put yet, so I'll just stick it there for now. Okay, I put it in drivers. Tools and resources. Drag the tools and resources folder into the trash. Yes, I'm serious. We don't need them right now. Just get rid of them. Okay. Alright, what now? Alright, now I gotta get all these kexts. Alright, that's in there now. Config.plist. Alright, so I gotta grab this. I'm gonna put it in here. Name it config all right now i gotta follow this portion of the guide oh boy this might be a while okay now we have this Alright, so it seems we have to do stuff in the BIOS now, which means we can finally go back to the Steam Deck. Alright, and now we're in 45 minutes later, we are finally back at the Steam Deck. And we can now say goodbye to SteamOS, because I need to shut it down to get to the uh, BIOS settings. And I've actually forgotten how to get to the BIOS settings on a Steam Deck, so uh... <laughs> I know how to get to the boot menu, maybe I can get to it from there. Okay, well here's the boot menu. Yeah, I didn't do a very good job at removing Windows, so uh... This just kind of immediately crashes. Yeah, sure, enter to try again. Oh, okay, that's uh, very convenient, actually. All right, so I need to disable fast boot. 
if I can find it. Quick boot, disabled. Secure boot, I also need to disable. I don't know if this even has secure boot or not. I'm gonna disable quiet boot as well, just in case. I also need to disable IOMMU, which uh, seems to already be disabled, so we're good. Once done here, we need to edit a couple extra values. Head to Apple Secure Boot page. For Big Sur and above, the recommended value is default. Uh, I'm assuming it defaults to default, so. Uh, I've got the USB here with a USB-C adapter, because, you know, this thing has no USB ports. Exit saving changes, yes. And please boot into the boot menu. <laughs> Not quite. Oh sick uh just just turn off <laughs> give me the boot menu please sick the usb stick is right here oh open core boot menu okay uh well uh slight problem the only options here are windows and that's it you might need to press space in order to see the installer as in later versions of open core hide auxiliary is enabled by default well uh yeah um, actually, I'm gonna jump straight to using the USB hub because, you know, I don't feel like dealing with it. Alright, I've plugged the USB stick and a keyboard into the USB hub, so hopefully I can still boot from the USB while also, you know, being able to use the keyboard. Hey, the keyboard works! Alright, so if I press space, nothing shows up. Oh, never mind, there it is. Option 2, load image failed unsupported. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, I, I <laughs> guess who didn't actually copy the, you know, install image to the USB stick, because I'm really smart. <laughs> Alright, now this thing actually has the proper files on it. <laughs> Let's see, maybe it can boot this time now that it actually has a thing to boot from. Oh, there we go. Waiting on critical error. I'm not realizing that's a that's an H, not a W. It's halting on critical error. Great. Info.plist is missing for injected text. Halting on critical error. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check the USB stick to see if it's actually missing or not, or if this thing's, you know, just ignoring it or something. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna make some very drastic changes to this uh, plist file, and I'm gonna back it up before I do that, because, uh... I don't want to permanently screw this thing over. All right, we're going to see if me deleting a bunch of things in the add section of kernel fixed it. My bet? Uh, probably not. I probably broke it even more. <laughs> oh, nice. It didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> in fact, that's the same error as last time. So, uh, fun. Back to perusing through that plist file. Okay, so it's looking for a certain text, which apparently is missing, but no one ever told me to add it. So I'm going to add it myself and see if it fixes anything. Okay, I've added a thing to the thing again, it, you, you know. Sick. Uh, what is it complaining about now? Apple ALC dot kext is gone. Alright, I put the Apple ALC kext into the thing. I'm hoping that's the last one I need. Oh. Oh, we're getting further, alright. Oh, my, my camera battery died. Sick. All right, so I've restored the old plist file before I, you know, eradicated half of its kernel settings just to see if that fixes anything, maybe. Because, yeah, I realized it wasn't loading, it had crashed. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, but it's still giving me the same error, it looks like. Yo, I don't know what happened, but the kernel quirks section is just gone. Okay, so I've put the quirks section back into the kernel section. Genuinely have no idea how it disappeared, but uh, I've also, you know, turned on the setting that this one forum post told me to, and that the Steam Deck guide told me not to. So I guess uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. All right, a little bit more progress. Okay, so something failed. Not exactly sure what yet, um, but I don't think it's gonna get past it by just letting it sit here again, so. Okay, I'm gonna try re-disabling the thing that the Steam Dev Guide told me to. It's worth a shot, so... Oh, oh. It did the same thing. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna figure this out tomorrow, because, uh, it's getting late and I want to go to sleep. <laughs> Alright, it's now the next night, and after consulting with Caitlin, some things I've learned. First off, apparently there's just like a 50-50 chance that it actually boots or not. Two, uh, I should be using Ventura or Sequoia instead of Big Sur. And three, uh, I got told to remove some things from the boot arguments. So I've done that, 
Got the USB stick right here. At the moment, all I've done is remove the things from the boot arguments, as well as Apple AOC from the kernel section, because, you know, we're not getting audio working. But if I have to, I can download the thing for Ventura or Sequoia. All right, we're going once again. And that's the same error as last time. <laughs> Sick. I'll just try again. That's the same error as last time. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to try rebooting one more time, just in case. Yep, and that's the same thing. All right, we're moving to Ventura. All right, I've downloaded the image for Ventura, and it's on the USB stick now instead of Big Sur. Well, it's not the same error this time. What is DSMOS and why is it arrived? All right, I've been told to try replacing a thing with another thing. Before I do that, I'm gonna try just, you know, trying again. Okay, yeah, uh, don't steal Mac OS has arrived again. At least I think that's what that stands for. I saw it on one thing on the internet and believed it, so. All right, I'm gonna try replacing virtual SMC with fake SMC. See if that fixes it. I've changed it to fake SMC. We're gonna see if that fixed anything. Okay, well, it seems to be stuck again. Might just be loading, but uh, there doesn't seem to be any actual error. All right, this isn't going anywhere. We're rebooting. Yeah, that's that's the same thing. Okay. All right, update. Caitlin has graciously sent me their EFI folder, which is confirmed working on a Steam Deck LED. This is an OLED, so we're going to see what happens. Oh, now this actually shows up properly. Oh, now it's sideways again. All right, so it turns out we have to pull in installing macOS Sonoma on a 2009 iMac to get this thing to work. And what I mean by that is we have to reboot over and over and over again until it works. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so slightly archaic method of getting this to work. Uh, unplug the USB stick the moment kernel log starts showing up. And instead of unplugging it, I'm just gonna press the button on my USB hub that, you know, disables and re-enables USB ports. And if this doesn't work, then I should try Monterey, apparently. All right, I've got my thumb ready to press the button. Go. Um... <laughs> Well, I mean, it's doing something. Uh, <laughs> I can't read it fast enough. Hold on. Uh, I cannot tell if this is a good thing or not. There's no way I can read this fast enough. I mean, it seems to be changing. So, I mean... Oh. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Let's go! Okay. Yeah, something funny. The, the trackpads work. <laughs> okay, so what I need to do now is because this is an online installer, I need to find a way to connect this thing to the internet. Uh, and this thing has no Wi-Fi drivers, so either A, I use a macOS compatible USB Ethernet adapter, which I don't own, or I use an Android phone to tether my Wi-Fi using USB-C. Uh, so Android phone it is. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta figure out... How in the world do I use this tool called, um, H-O-R-N-D-I-S? Oh! First off, it's apparently pronounced horrendous. Fun. Second, uh, it's a kext that I still need to install. So, uh, so, uh, I gotta, I gotta redo this whole thing. Actually, uh, USB tethering is not gonna work because my data provider disables it because I don't have hotspots in my data plan. I've been sent a thing that apparently lets you run offline installers in recovery, and it works on Windows. It's just gonna be uh, a bit of a pain, so. All right, after an eon of copying files later, I now have supposedly the full offline version of the installer on an offline recovery image that might work, maybe. I don't even know what the procedure is to getting into this, so I think I just do it the normal way until I get into, you know, the thing. Alright, so we're back here. Now I gotta go grab the guide for, uh, how to actually do the thing. Okay, so I need to go into disk utility. Okay, cool, the only things that are showing up are the EFI partitions. Because I'm supposed to format the target device, which I'm assuming means, you know, my, my SSD that's in my Steam Deck. Oh, I, I missed a step. Hold on. I need to do that. There it is. Except it still can't see the thing. And honestly, I'm really tempted to just wipe this whole thing. 
Because, you know, I can always just reinstall SteamOS. Everything's backed up to the cloud. I don't have anything important on there. And I really want to get this video done. So a lot of you might get really mad at me for this, but I'm erasing this entire thing. Goodbye, SteamOS install. I really hope I don't regret this. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta quit this. This is really hard to do when everything's sideways. Then I gotta open terminal. Oh, shoot. I don't remember what I named my... Oh, no. There's an XFAT partition on here, uh, and I need to CD to it, and I don't remember what I named it because I need the name for it. So I'm gonna just unplug this and hope it doesn't screw me over because I'm gonna plug it into my main PC just to figure out what I named it. It's just called USB, okay. <gasps> oh boy. Yep, I have definitely read all of it. Install to main. All right. We are now finally installing. All right, the final stretch. Select my country or region. Hopefully I can scroll. Thank you. Migration assistant. No, I'm good. Terms and conditions. I sure do agree. As long as it gets me to the desktop. Give me dark theme. It's already enabled. Cool. And with that, macOS is installed. Oh my god. By the way, it's always sideways. Uh, there's no graphics drivers for the thing, which means there's nothing to rotate the display, which means it's always sideways. Sure, yeah, give me magnification. Yeah. Thank you for Caitlin for dealing with all of my bullshit. Genuinely could not have done it without them. So, uh, what, what can you do with macOS on a Steam Deck? Uh, you can play chess. How does this game work? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you to my channel members, Planet Gamer, Waterbar, Boki, It's Dark, Alexandru, Butterdog, Mr. Muffin, Anthony, Jasso, MRF, Orson, Ambar, Tonk, Administrator, Thom, Vietnamese Cat, Tyler, It's Netless, Unfound Render, Brain Rotted Vet, Highway 11, Lily, Solar, Teletales, 4K, LG TV, Chernobyl Dweller, Midnight Wave, Urki, Celestner, Hello, Yinho, Whale Tech, F3Pie, Skyblocker, Henry B, Gamer Gator, Melody, Kim, a user, normal Roblox player, it's just Jay, Tomas, and I am Maurice, and with that, I'll be seeing you.